Bernie, I didn't know all that, brother. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Come here more but, often than 50, every 53 years. Yeah. On oh, um, behalf of Florida State University, the Sun Bowl, we really enjoy it here, man. And, and the people, the hospitality is outstanding. And myself, I've never been to El Paso before, and I was just uh, surprised. I thought a little small place is a big place. But as a, as a staff and as a football team, we really enjoyed El Paso. And um, football team, Florida State University, we're in a position to play Arizona State Coach Hearn, one of my favorites. Television, one of my favorites. I used to watch, watch him all the time. But our kids, we practiced well, went out, had a little fun at night, and I made curfew one night at 10 o'clock. I said, Coach, why? You need to rest. <laughs> yeah, but but we, we've we had fun here at the Sun Bowl, and we're looking forward to playing um, Arizona State. We know we have a challenge, we have a big challenge ahead of us. But our kids, you know, this morning I was talking to a few guys, say, Coach, it's time to play the game. We've been out here long enough. I said, yeah, it's time, guys. I said, today, the last day of preparation, we got to make sure we're on our P's and Q's. We're out there understanding what we have to do as a football team. Uh, well, I'd like to say to you all, thank you very much. You guys being kind to our players, interviewing them and stuff, and they're looking forward to tomorrow. Are there any questions? They told me a few days ago, but that's awesome. The kids love Florida State University. You got um, Marvin Wilson and and T. I call him T. That's that's great. That tells you a lot. Unfinished business. I wish Marvin was playing tomorrow, but thank God he's coming back. But those kids, they know what we have with Florida State, what we're building. So they want to come back and help finish it and get things back to where it's supposed to be at Florida State. And I'm going to say this right here. People saying, well, the program is this. No, no, no. We're just going through transition. We're, we're Florida State. Our brand is very good. And they know that. That's the reason why they want to stay. I mean, last hours of being the head coach? That's that's the question you're asking me? Yeah. Well, it's just like being a coach. I'm going up and doing my job. It's no different. I know I have more responsibility. I have to look out the more. But God has given me a lot of strengths, you know, dealing with people, learning how to, you know, motivate kids. But it's a job to me, something I love to do. So it's good. Well, they're a disciplined football team. They have a very good quarterback. They have very good skill position. They have very good defense. Turnover ratio plus 10. They're a very good football team. So you know the head coach of their football team has a lot of experience, and he gets on his kids. You can tell they play very hard. One thing I can tell you this, the young quarterback they have, he know the offense, he understands the offense. He, you can tell he's, he's a gym rat. What I mean by gym rat, he studies the film. That kid, pressure doesn't bother him. Yeah, he's smooth underneath pressure. And their defense, they run to the ball, they play hard. They got complicated coverages and stuff. They don't show you everything. Well, let me tell you something. I don't know what Marvin was hearing. I let Marvin and his mother make that decision. I'm, I'm an advisor, a father figure to him. I stay out of that. I'm a father figure to him first. Well, I'll tell you this little story. We came back from Boston College. You know, the, the week of situation happened. And we came back late at night. We were getting off the bus. He was coming down there with his with his hand operating on, screaming and hollering. That tells you a lot right there. At 11 or 12 o'clock at night, we won the game. Very special. Bill, did you ever cross paths with Coach Herm before, and what's it been like getting to interact uh, with him over the last few days? 
Yes. Um, back in the mid-90s, Coach Irm used to be at Tampa. And me as a young coach, Coach Andrews and Coach Gladden, we used to go down there and visit with them all installing Tampa too. I mean, we would go down there, aggravate them, aggravate them, and talking to Rob Marinelli. And I met a lot of the guys, uh, Tomlin, a lot of the guys down there then. Very nice. He's a go-getter. You could tell how he is. What's like your running back situation going to be like? It's going to be good. You know, that's, that's one thing um, I told our kids. We're going to do what we have to do. Fit in, let's go play football. You don't make no excuses. Go do it. The Florida's the no way. Coach, it's supposed to be in the 40 small kickoff. How come people leave the team so late? Well, yesterday we was practicing. Um, it was like 33. I think we'll be okay. <laughs> Coach, you can get to that tail relief. Um, what were your thoughts about, just general thoughts about Thursday night bowl game? It seems to be happening more these days, but uh, your thoughts on the, obviously it's their choice. And you're right, it's their choice. And who am I to, to say what a kid should be doing or should not be doing? You sit down, you talk to them, you educate them about life. I can't tell a kid to go or stay. i never forget Coach Bobby Bowden. I had a kid, he was a junior, he projected to be in the first round. I said, Coach, what am I supposed to do? I was a young coach, about 27 years old, starting when I was 26. He said, Odell, let me tell you this. You give them all the information they need. You advise them on certain things. You don't tell them to stay or you don't tell them to go. Because what if that kid come back and get hurt? He never, ever can play again. He said, you advise them and show them your heart and tell them you love them. And, sh and give them a lot of information. That's for them and their parents to do. How big would a win in this bowl game be for this Florida State program moving forward into, into next year? Well, you know what? We got to talk about it now. We got to get ready for the meetings today and, and go with special teams and the offense, the defense. And really, we're, we're thinking about taking care of Florida State, the things we have to do, go out and play well. You know, God, God gives me all my visions. It's not what I want. I pray about every situation. I've turned down numerous jobs, NFL, college, colleges and stuff. I enjoy doing what I'm doing. When it's not enjoyable anymore, I start doing something else. He's a leader. Ricky is a great dude. His brother played for us, and he was drafted by the Buccaneers. Ricky is a great guy. He's a team leader. Ricky goes out every day, works hard. Had a little slump this year, but he got out of it, and he's a great guy. He's a great leader. People, our kids respond to him. Well, well, speaking of the staff, I'm, I'm proud of this staff. They've been professionals. And really, we haven't talked about when we talk, we talk to them, our players, about getting ready for the game, preparing for the game. But, but this staff has done everything I asked them to do. I take my, hats off to, my head off to them.